folks out here on Gunners for Lake today and I'm gonna go in search of a crappie where I got this one particular place I want to go try it's a big rock it's a big deal for me just to catch a couple of crappie much less a, a limit appreciate y'all tuning in I'm Rocky Drake Rocky Drake Outdoors no I ain't really the best crappie man the rocks that are right here there he is oh yeah now this could be a crop this feels like a crop I'm, I'm telling you it does lord i hope it is i need to get my net out oh he come off oh goodness he come off and that was a good one that felt like a big slab crop it did oh my gosh it did y'all that makes me sick i don't think it was no bass sure wasn't no catfish neither uh Tell you what I'm thinking, I'm thinking get that net, boy. I don't know, you know what I mean. I mean, hey, I ain't been using this net much lately. Out here in 24.8 feet of water. Yeah. There he is. This is what we got. What we got? We got. Oh, Lord, it's a big crappie. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I got me a crappie, y'all. I ain't got him yet. Oh Lord, look here. Look at him. Look. <laughs> look here. Look here. Look here. Oh Lord, he mercy. That's what I was looking for. Yep, we just got here too. Oh Lord, don't get off, don't get off, Crabby. I don't think we're going to measure that in there, y'all. <laughs> it might be several crappie on here. I had a big one on that got off, and I think it was a big slab. I'm going to put this in that live well. Oh Lord, have mercy. I'm glad I got that net. Oh Lord, I'm glad I got that net. He might have got off. He just kind of fell off in the net, just come off the hook. Put us another one on here. Yep. I come down here to try to catch a crappie. Well, I done caught me one anyway. So, I'm happy. And I'm sure that that ain't the only one down there. Yep, I'm sure that ain't the only one. Let's go up there again. <laughs> oh, I love this now, boy. Oh, Lord, I ain't no good crappie, man. Boy, when I catch a crappie, it's a big deal. There's a, oh, God, there's no nothing. Just hit it. Goodness, my pole's all messed up. Goodness, I felt him too. I think he got the mana. What is it? Do oh Lord mercy. <sighs> yeah, he got the mana. See there? He got it. Just hooking them little manners right there too. Both of them sit like that right there. Just enough to hold them on there. Throw it up. Let her go down and let her drift right down through here. That's all you gotta do. I make it sound easy, but it really ain't. Crappie fishing is, uh, I mean, I, I got all the respect in the world for the crappie boys. I'm just telling you right now. I mean, them boys, I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta know your stuff. I think, I think a crappie, to, for me, is harder to catch or harder to find or than, than it is big smallmouth bass. I do. Come on now. I want to catch at least six to take home to eat. Half a dozen, that's all I want, half a dozen. I catch a half a dozen. I'm good. He got that man, he got it, he got it. I'm telling y'all, he got it. See there, he got it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the deal is. He's a little sneaky little booger down here. They keep running up there and plucking it off the end of the hook. And there's a nut. There's a nut, y'all. Boy, this is a crappie. Is it a crappie? Oh, it's another crappie. <laughs> it's another crappie. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, Lord, I'm gonna... We got us another in here. Oh, my goodness. That's what I am talking about, boy. Whew. Lord, look at him flop. Yeah. Yeah, that makes two in five minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to measure that just to make sure. Let's, let's see, where's my measuring tape? I am, oh, I'm, I'm telling you, I think we in them. I gotta be, let's see, this is a limb right here. I gotta be nine inches right here on this lake. And that there's 11. <laughs> yep, <laughs> supper. I'm putting them in my bait. <laughs> I'm just using my bait tank too as a, uh, a live well. Now these crappie, they'll mix in with other fish, especially in an area like this. They'll mix in with bass, they'll mix in with spots. felt something something felt like it sniffed on it
there's some big crappie around here. I'd like to catch one of them big 15 inches. There, cool. He just, oh gosh. He just, look at that. I'm telling you, boy, he cleaned that hook. Oh, Lord, he I hate to get excited, y'all, but I can't hit it. Doggone it. I know that was a big crappie. It felt like he thumped on it. He, you know, you hear the thump, the thump, they, them crappie boys, they say, you know, feel the thump. Well, that thumped him. He sure did. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay, let's throw it up there again. Oh, Lord have mercy. Come on, talk to me. Cheesy, Louisey. Right, I'm going to show y'all my setup right here, I got. I'll turn my back to this wind, so I hope that noise, won't, that wind noise won't be in the video. But uh, I got this new rod here. I've been using it lately, and I got it. Uh, it's a Johnny Morris. I got it at uh, Cabela's. And it's a carbon light, and it's a, uh, it's a, it's real lightweight. I'm telling you what, this this pole right here, I mean, it's like a feather, and that's what I like about it. And uh, this one here, I've got. Let's see, it's a, uh, let's see what it is here, y'all. Let's see this pole. Let's see how long. It's six foot long. Is what it is, light action fast, right there on the end. Of it. You can see right there. And I've been using, I've used this in a couple other videos. I know one. And then uh, this reel right here, it's a Revo, Abba Garcia. Uh, and it's, it, it's a perfect combination right here for what I'm doing. Now this line here, I just put 20 pound braid on this, on this one here. And I've got a six pound leader on there. And I can't, I thought about putting a four on there, but I just can't. I mean, I just, uh, <laughs> I ain't got the guts. Uh, enough to put a four pound test line on because I don't ever know what I'm gonna get a hold to especially throwing this live bait like we throw right there but now this little hook right here it's just a little owner hook a little mosquito hook and it's a number two small hook and then right above it, it's pretty simple fishing it so I just got a little split shot right there I mean that's that's it you know fishing the way I fish I try to keep it real simple that way it's more fun and when you're throwing this live bait like I'm throwing right here these these thread fin shad it's all natural that's what these fish feed on in this river i don't have to worry about what color to throw what color jig to throw i don't have to worry about how big a jig to throw i don't have to worry about none of that stuff it just takes all the complication out of fishing this live bait does it just simplifies everything because i know they're going to eat it i mean i mean i just know they are you know if it gets around one if they're hungry they're going to eat it there's a lot of guys out there that are really really good crappie guys and they can throw it, they can catch a lot of fish on them jigs. They probably catch more on a jig than I can on a manor. But I'm not that good. And you don't have to be that good fishing live bait like I do right here on crappie or bass or anything else. There he is. Oh Lord, I should I told you, oh Lord, Lord, he's this here grabbed it like turkey rod out of my hand. I got him. What is it? Oh my goodness, look at that. Did y'all see that? Oh, it's oh, he, oh look he got. Golly, y'all, he broke my line. Golly. That was a big spotted bass, about four or five pounder. Come right up in my face. Right? What y'all saying? It's a big old spotted bass. I'm telling you, make it look like a football. Golly. Mm. Well, I got to tie another hook on. So, all I got, all I got back, look at that. Is that right, right there? This light line, like I'm fishing, six pounds. The least little nick you get in that line fishing around these rocks down there that's what's gonna happen right there you're gonna get broke now let's tie another hook on i'll show you all these hooks in person here that i'm using these are little mosquito hooks right here they're number two red see the red hooks and uh i'm gonna get one out and we're gonna tie a polymer knot on that just that, that almost made me throw up y'all i'm telling you right now uh even though I'm gonna turn these bass loose, these big ones. It's still, I still want to get them in the boat and put my hands on them. And that one there was a good one. I mean, he, I thought it was a smallmouth at first, which we'll catch a smallmouth here every now and then, but not very often. Okay, now let's tie this polymer knot on. I got, I'm gonna have to get my glasses out because I can't see. That looks like a little piece of thread. I can't even see it hardly. So I gotta get these right here, magnifying glass right here. Okay, now I can see what I'm doing. I want, always, I'm telling you, just check your line right here. Make sure. So, I mean, I can feel some little old bitty nicks. Like right there's one. See, y'all can see that right there? 
That's where it's getting down around them rocks. I don't trust this light line. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna go ahead and get that off. But anyway, let's tie this polymer knot on. I mean, I've showed this a bunch of times, but in case you ain't never seen me do it, it's just a matter of running that little light line <laughs> through the eye of that hook right there, and then coming back through it right here, just like that. It's a quick way to see it doubles up in the eye of the hook, so you, you got double the strength on your line right there. And then you just get a little loop like that, and then you just pull her back around like that, just like that, and just run that little loop over your hook, and you got it. See? Then I'm gonna come up here about maybe about a foot, maybe 12, 15 inches. And I'm gonna take this little split shot right here, and I'm gonna just mash it on there just barely. Golly, that was a big spotted bass. I mean a good one. Never know. With this bait I'm fishing with, what you gonna get a hold to out here? I mean, we could catch a 50 pound flathead out here. Boy, wouldn't that be something? Well, let's put another one of these on. Lee, that would have been nice to show y'all that fish, but hey, sorry folks. I mean, it's just, mm. I don't get broke off no whole lot, neither. I really don't. I'll tell you one thing, I'm gonna check his drag just to make sure now, see it? Okay, now, I'm still wanting a crappie. I, you know, I didn't come down here to catch him, fit them bass, or them spotted bass or anything else. I come to catch crappie, but hey, <laughs> I'll take one of them right there any day. But sometimes after you catch a few fish off a place like this, they start kind of wising up to, especially with this boat sitting here and them waves slapping up underneath this boat. Like it is, it may have them a little bit boogered up. They might be a little bite shy, I don't know. So what I may end up doing is just drifting off of this and going on down through yonder and then coming back. Let it rest maybe just a little bit and try it in a couple other places and then come back and, and get back on it. Uh, and see, I don't know. I ain't ready to leave right yet, though, but I may, I may end up doing that in a minute. There he is. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Uh oh. This is a, this, I don't, uh oh. I don't know what this is gonna be. I don't know. We're gonna show, I can't get him getting that trolling motor, boy. He's pulling like, oh, Lord, he's pulling. He's going a six pound test line, too, I'm telling you. This ain't no crappie. If it is, it's the world record. Let's see what it is. What is it? Oh man, look at here. Get the net. <laughs> <laughs> look at here, boy. <laughs> nice blue cat, pretty thing, boy. Pretty. Come on, get in that net, you pretty thing. Goodness, that's a booger, boy. Oh Lord. Look at here. Hey, I'm good with it. I want y'all look what a fat cat. <laughs> I can't even read around him, he's a fat. Look at that. Boy, what a pretty blue cat. Look at the pretty color on that fish. Nice, pretty blue. I ain't in the market for no catfish eating today, so I'm gonna turn him loose. There he went. I'm wanting a crappie today. Don't y'all look at all this slime on me, boy. It looks like a bunch of rolled up boogers. <laughs> I tell you now, like I told y'all, slide bait we using right here, I'm just telling you right now, here to catch everything in this river. That's the fun of it. I mean, you may go after one particular kind of fish. Like today, we have them crappie. That don't mean you, I mean, you'll catch crappie. But you're gonna catch some other stuff too, just like I did right there with that cat. Oh, Lord, jeez, it's so easy. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. Boy, that, that fish now, that, that done some pulling. I want y'all look right here. Big water bait right here. We might be getting on something right here now. That water bait's right here under the boat. A lot of times, these fish will follow that bait like that, them big pods of bait up and down this river channel. There he is. There he is, y'all, Lord have mercy. Now this might be a crappie here. This feels like a crappie. I hope so. It sure does. Let's see what it is. What do we got? You ain't gonna believe this. I believe, seriously. I believe we got, we got a smallmouth. <laughs> Look <at> here. <laughs> a Gunners Will Lake smallmouth. Yep, sure do. Beautiful little fish. First one I've caught here in a while on Gunners Will Lake. 
you know, really, folks, I didn't expect catching them smallmouth here today. I mean, I've caught them here before, but it's been a long time. You just don't catch a lot of smallmouth around here. Look at that, what a pretty little smallmouth bass. I'm going to turn this little booger loose. Thank you, little fish. There, it went back down in there. I'm going to show you. See him right here? I'm going to point my pole at him, coming right over us. Look at that big, beautiful bird right there. Look at that. Look, look, look. Oh, Lord, look what a beautiful. Right over top of us. Oh, man, I was hoping he'd come down here. Immature ball deck. I think it takes about five or six years for the head to get white. All right, folks, we're going to go try another place. Hadn't got a bite there in about an hour, so I figure it's pretty much over with. That sun doesn't got up. Um, so I got a couple other places I want to try. <laughs> but let's go do that. Fish. I think this might be a crappie showing up. It is. It is a crappie. Sure is. I don't know if he's big enough or not, but it's a crappie. <laughs> Had to make three. Oh yeah. See that? Crappie right there. Ten inches long. A person has to concentrate really hard to catch crappie. It takes a lot of focus. It doesn't about give me a headache. I'm gonna have to go catch me a big bass in a minute, just kind of relieve the pressure off my brain. Mine. Folks, appreciate y'all watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.